Hello everyone, this is Sean, and this is my unboxing video for the AMT Ertl Dick Tracy model kit from 1990. This is a model kit that I bought while I was uh, coming back, no, actually going to PowerCon. This was from a mall in Washington, Pennsylvania, if memory serves. Here's the store I bought it from, Chippers Trains and Collectibles. It's in the Crown Center Mall in Washington, Pennsylvania. And you can see the uh, sides of the box here. And the back with all the details. And the proof that it was created in 1990. Alright, so let's see. Is it a lid? Separate lid? Yes, okay, good. Alright, here we go. So, uh... Not going to take all the parts out of the bag, but you can see it's all pretty well black, black parts here. Well, actually, since I do have all the uh, scissors, give me one minute, I'll be back. Alright, I'm back again. So, I can show you all the parts that were in those bags. And see if I can arrange some of them to be in the... Uh, what would you call it? The um, the big bag. So oh, there's convertible top. Looks like a rear bumper. Uh, looks like the main body of the car in some respect. So it should be able to go in here as well. Good. There we go. Yep. Okay. So that's probably enough for that bag. Yeah, that's too high. Okay. There we go. Here's some better bags for uh, parts like the main body of the car itself. Yeah. There we go. And parts like the whole seats, because there's the interior bucket. Here's the back bench seat, at least. Here's some wheels, so those should be able to go in here as well. And still fit in the box. Perfect. Okay. <clears throat> and there is the main... Uh, chassis of the car so that's good that should go in here as well there you are mm -hmm. so that's that bag and the little bag with the uh, main body top strange that it's brown i mean black but that's okay and here we go all the different types of uh wheels and everything and probably some engine parts as well in here. All be mentioned. Oh, there's the steering wheel. That looks like the horn. I don't know. Ah, there's the part numbers. You can see the part numbers there. That's good. It'll all be mentioned on the instructions. Just grab all the different Ziploc bags I have and put them in the, uh, put all the parts in there. And that way they're all safe and protected. Like so. Alright, let's see what else we have here. There's the two engine halves. There's the radiator. That is the dashboard with uh, pedal mounts, or steering wheel attachment anyway. There's the hood. These look like uh, more engine parts, fan. And what looks like uh, maybe a transmission or axles, perhaps. So I will try to put those also in this bag here. So they fit. 
because this is a 32 year old model kit I want to be sure that everything fits in there oh good it good it does here we go all right so you have uh, this third bag of parts now that's excellent there we go okay and of course you have the old uh, you know mailer look it's mentioning the Star Trek 4 model kit. Good thing is I have that. But that's from MPC. Hmm, interesting. Okay, so let's see what else we've got here. Hmm. We have the clear parts, the windshields and everything. So what I'm going to do immediately is put them right into their own bag so that nothing happens to them. I happen to have a Ziploc bag right here. It'll fit in perfectly. So well, that's good. I can count four tires, so that's that's excellent. All right, there we go. Ziploc bag for the uh, glass. The chrome tree is already in its own separate bag, so I'm just going to leave it where it is. But you can see, uh, looks like chrome bumpers. Actually, I'm going to take it out. I'll be right back. All right, so I unlocked a new set of Ziploc bags to put the chrome tree in. Of course, I'll try to turn it so the part numbers are up, and now they are. Good. And then I'll get the very smallest Ziploc bag for these loose pieces, because they don't look to be big enough to fit into anything else. And I want to make sure that nothing gets lost. All right, so, got a small Ziploc bag here, and it's uh, loose pieces like the two axles. See those here, and whatever this black, loose black piece is. And that looks like, again, some kind of uh, radiator shroud or something. Another seat back, or front, and... The four tires. So they all go in that bag and then it'll be time for the instructions and the decals which as you know I always put the instructions and the decals on top of all the parts. So chrome tree on the bottom and this Part below that. There we. Go. This one will go in here. There you go. This will go here. There. Then you have small parts, and then you have a relatively flat surface to put the uh, glass pieces on. And now we can get to the actual. Uh, Ooh, a spare axle. Okay, one minute. Well, I'm glad you have a spare axle. It's going in the very smallest Ziploc bag. There you go. So you've got three of them. There's the glass parts. Good. And here's the instructions. So you can see how one part of the instructions, the facing side, is actually whiter. I mean, more yellow than the rest. I'm going to angle the camera a bit. Right. All right, I'm back. So you got the instructions here. Actually, I'm going to put them up on the chair. Mm. Oh, that should work a bit better. There we go. So you got the Dick Tracy model kit instruction. You've got the description of the car and how to take parts off the tree. And you have all the steps starting with engine assembly. I guess it goes across, like reading a book, so there's step two, the interior cabin. Step three, the wheels. Step four, putting the axles in place. All right. Step five is putting in the gear shift, steering column, everything, engine, assembled engine on the chassis after the wheels are in place. Good for that. Step six is putting on the uh, rumble seat, 
and the interior cabin and everything onto the car. Oh my goodness, look at all that. <laughs> Four different steps. It's good though, it gives you all the color callouts too. And labels every part. And then step seven is quite large because it shows every other side radiator hose, the coop top, the glass, the headlights, the grill, bumpers. Oh, that's quite good. So that's the front license plate bracket. All right. And the assembled body. And then step eight shows the final pieces, gas cap, uh, license plate, spare tire, bumpers again. All right, that's good. And of course, the only thing that goes on the uh, license plate decal front and back, because you can see the front license plate there, and the rear license plate there, and there's two stickers. So you put the Dick Tracy uh, decals on both of those, and then the car will be complete. <clears throat> All right. So that is it for the Dick Tracy uh, model kit unboxing, and this time I did show all the parts. Since it's in the fictional car series, it'll be something I'll probably build oh, after my Thousand Scale Voyager. It's not the only model I bought. I bought a Jeff Burton uh, NASCAR car. You can see that here. Let's see, copyright date, 1998. Good, so that's already 24 years old. He autographed the box. And because I, like, want to see if I can build a Canadian Forces Sea King helicopter. So I bought that one. And that was from the year... What year was this one from? Yeah, 2007. Again, that was a flea market on my way home. And there you can see the pictures there. Well, it does have U.S. flags, so maybe it is kind of like Air Force One. We'll find out. Anyway, that's all for now. And I will see you later when I've uh, filmed enough of Herbie. Herbie. To uh, produce enough for another video. So, talk to you all later, and hope you had a good uh, first half of August. Bye-bye.